Backing up your WordPress website is a vital security activity for ensuring that your website is protected. Basically, your website can go down at any point due to hackers, WordPress updates, and clashes with themes or plugins. And this is why taking regular backups is an important activity for maintaining your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to walk you through two simple methods for backing up your WordPress website in minutes. First by using a WordPress plugin and then through your cPanel. Okay, so before I guide you through how to simply back up your WordPress website, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into our WordPress dashboard. <music> Okay, so first you need to log into your WordPress dashboard. Then the first method we're going to cover today is installing a plugin that we can use to backup and restore our website. Now making a backup of your website is essentially just making a copy of your website that you can use to essentially restore your website if anything goes wrong. Okay, so to back up and restore our website, what we're going to do is navigate over to plugins on the left hand side and then simply click add new. Then simply navigate up to the search bar where it says search plugins and type in updraft. Then simply locate updraft plus WordPress backup plugin. You can see that this plugin has had over 3 million active installations. This is the plugin that we want to install. So simply go ahead and click install now. Then once the plugin has been installed, simply click activate. And that's going to take you to the active updraft plus backup and restore plugin. What we want to do is simply click settings. Then to take your first manual backup, all you need to do is navigate over to backup and click here. Make sure that you have database and files selected, then come down and click backup now. Then just give updraft plus a moment to backup your website. And just like that, the backup has been created. And if we scroll down the page, you can locate your existing backups down here. You can see we have our first manual backup that we just made. So congratulations, you have just manually backed up your WordPress website. Now with this plugin, you can also set up automatic backups, which means rather than going into the back end and manually backing up your website, you can enable updraft to create regular backups automatically. So to do that, simply navigate up to settings and come down to file backup schedule and next to manual, click the drop down and you can select how often an automatic backup is created. For example, we're going to come down and click fortnightly and then navigate over to database backup schedule and next to manual, click the drop down and come down and click fortnightly again. So basically every two weeks, our files and database will be backed up. So a copy of our website will be created automatically. Then up here, we want to select how many backups that we want to store. So for example, if we change this to four and we come down and change database to four as well. And because we're creating an automatic backup every two weeks, every fortnight, that means we will have two months worth of backups that we can use to restore our website if anything goes wrong within those two months. I hope that makes sense. And remember, you can choose any period of time that you want automatic backups to be created. We're going to keep this automatic backup as fortnightly. So every two weeks there will be a backup and on file, we will always have four backups to choose from if we ever need to restore our website. Then if we navigate down the page, we can select a remote storage for us to backup our copies of our website. So for example, I'm going to select Google Drive as the destination where I want my backups to be stored. However, you can select any of these options based on your preferred tool. So I'm going to come down and click Google Drive and then navigate down the page. 
Here under Google Drive, we're gonna leave everything as it is. So the Google Drive folder that these backups are gonna be stored under is Updraft Plus. Then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can come down and hit Save Changes. Now, because we selected Google Drive as our remote storage option, we need to come down and click this link. Then simply select the Google account with the Google Drive that you want to use to store your backups. We're gonna go ahead and select this Google account. And then simply click Allow. And then click Complete Setup. And just like that, our first automatic backup is currently being processed. You can see that we now have two backups. We've got our manual backup that we showed you how to backup earlier. And then we also have our automatic backup that has been sent to our Google Drive that we set up as a remote location. Now, for any reason, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, if your website goes down, your website crashes, maybe there's an issue with the updates, or there's clashes with your themes or plugins, maybe you've been hacked, then what you will want to do is restore a backup. So to restore a backup, all you do is click restore next to the backup you want to restore. And then simply select each of these options. And once you've selected all the components to restore, come down and click next. And here, all you need to do is give Updraft a moment to restore your website. And then here, when you see the message, the backup archive files have been successfully processed. Now press restore again to proceed. Then you can come down and click restore. Then here, you just need to wait for the restoring process to be completed. And then when you see restore successful, come down and click return to Updraft plus configuration. And congratulations, just like that, you have backed up and restored your website. Now, what I'm gonna do is briefly share how you can create a manual backup of your website from your cPanel. So what we're gonna do is head over to our cPanel. And once you've logged into your cPanel, all you need to do is scroll down to Files and then locate Backup Wizard. All you need to do is click here and then navigate over to Backup. Then to create a full backup of your website, files, database, simply click Full Backup. Then simply come down under Generate a Full Backup and under Backup Destination, make sure that you have Home Directory selected. Then below this we have Email Address. This is the email address that will be notified once the backup has been complete. Or you can come down and click do not send email notification of backup completion. But what we want to do is send a email notification telling us that the backup has been completed. Then come down and click generate backup. And then depending on the size of your website, the backup can take a few minutes to be created. All you need to do is wait for the email notification that you will receive in your email that you added before. Now to view and download your new manual backup, all you need to do is head back to your cPanel dashboard and then under files, simply locate backup next to backup wizard. So backup wizard is the tool that we used to actually backup our website. Now if we want to view and download our website, all we need to do is click backup and then come down and click download a full account backup. And then down here under backups available for download, you can see that this backup has been completed and we can simply click on this backup in order to download this backup onto our computer. Now, in terms of restoring your website through the cPanel, I recommend getting in touch with your hosting provider and they will do this for you. However, those are two simple methods that you can use to backup your WordPress website. And there we have it guys, that is how you can simply back up your WordPress website through two simple methods. Now, if you have any questions about these two methods, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like on this video and then subscribe to this channel and that way I will see you next time. Take care guys.